2008 was a new chapter for then 23-year-old Kyle Busch. After spending his first three seasons in the Cup Series with Hendrick Motorsports, Busch moved on to Joe Gibbs Racing to replace JJ Yaley in the 18 car. Not only was Kyle having a changing career, the team itself was also going through a major change. Since 2003, JGR ran Chevrolet cars. However, for the first time, they would field Toyota cars for the 2008 season. And after how abysmal Toyota was in their Cup debut last season, not many people expected JGR to excel in performance, but man did Kyle Busch prove them wrong. After earning two fourth place finishes in the first two races of the season at Daytona and Fontana, Kyle Busch would score his first win with Joe Gibbs at Atlanta in the fifth win of his career at that time. 1954. Come on folks, keep my hand. Nameplates going Get to victory up, lane. Wild Thing wins. Yes, Kyle Busch they wins the Cobalt Tools 500. Good job, boys. This would also be the first time Toyota went to victory lane in the Cup Series, and after Atlanta, he and his team continued the momentum to chase for a championship. While his next two races at Bristol and Martinsville didn't fare so well, the next 10 was just incredible for Kyle and his team. In those 10 races, he scored 4 more wins at Talladega, Darlington, Dover, and Sonoma, 7 top 3 finishes, 8 top 10s, and an astounding average finish of 7.8. After Sonoma, he had a huge 103 point lead ahead of 2nd place driver Jeff Burton. The last 10 races of the regular season was not as good, I mean, I don't even think you can even call this not as good, but anyways. From New Hampshire to Richmond, he added 3 more wins to the column at Daytona, Chicagoland, and Watkins Glen. 5 more top 5s and 6 top 10s. After Richmond, Kyle entered the chase for the Sprint Cup as the number 1 seed, 30 points ahead of 2nd place seed Carl Edwards, in which at that time, that was the largest gap between 1st and 2nd to start the chase. That just tells you how dominant Kyle Busch was in the regular season. In the first race of the chase at New Hampshire Motor Speedway, Kyle Busch started on pole and led the first 3 laps of the race. However, on lap 83, Kyle spun off a of turn 2 and Jimmy McMurray slammed into the back end of his car. And as a result, Kyle would finish 34th and would fall from 1st to 8th in the standings. The bad luck didn't stop there. In race number 2 at Dover, Kyle Busch blew an engine on lap 172 and would have finished dead last in 43rd and dropped all the way down to 12th, the final spot in the chase standings. While he finished on the lead lap next weekend at Kansas, it was a 28th place finish after starting 27th. Kyle Busch had a horrible way to start the chase for the championship. Talladega would, however, be somewhat of an improvement for him and his team, finishing 15th. However, he only jumped up one position to 11th in standings, 331 points behind points leader Jimmy Johnson. However, after finishing 4th at Charlotte, many people thought that the 18 team would make a last charge effort to try and win the chase from the back end of the standings. But then a week after that at Marsville, Kyle cut a tire in 1 and 2 and hit the wall on lap 162. And this went en route to a 29th place finish and he would eventually fall back to 12th in standings. The next three races, however, showed more of Kyle Busch as to how he performed in the regular season. At Atlanta, Texas, and Phoenix, he scored a 5th, 6th, and 8th place finish respectively. But by that time, the damage was done. After a 19th place finish at Homestead, Kyle ended the season 10th in points, 498 points behind the eventual champion, Jimmy Johnson. And with that, he ends 2008 like this. 8 career wins, 7 top 5s, 21 top 10s, 1,673 laps left with an average start of 11.5 and an average finish of 12.5. On paper, this looks like a great season, but when it came down to crunch time, the team just fell apart. And here's a quick overview between the first 26 races and the last 10 races. In the regular season, he had those 8 wins, 15 top 5s, 16 top 10s with an average finish of 9.92. In the chase, however, he scored 0 wins, only 2 top 5s, 4 top 10s with an average finish of 19.1. After 2008, Kyle Busch would have an up and down few years at JGR. He slowly got more consistent over the next two seasons, but fell tremendously in 2011 and even missed the chase in 2012 before picking back up the momentum and would eventually win the championship for JGR in 2015. But with that, that will conclude another episode of a look back on Inside the Lights. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and tell me in the comments down below what you got on this video and tell me who do you want me to cover on in the next episode. But until next time, my name is Jeff from NASCAR on MDK. Please leave a like, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.